good morning i'm going on a, a prayer walk i love to do prayer walks i'm going on a prayer walk this morning and thought to take you along i love my prayer walks you know time with god all by yourself just have time to reflect and all of that it's a bit um, windy not too much so i've made sure i'm warmly dressed <laughs> For the weather while i take my walk yeah how are you all doing trust you are doing well and enjoying the days as they go by something happened this week that you know got me thinking thinking about how to deal with negativity if you haven't watched my previous video go and watch it where i spoke about having a healthy making sure your mental health is healthy. Go and watch that video about having a healthy mental health. You know, going out for walks, exercise, it's one way, you know, making sure you're healthy, you don't have any negativity and all of that coming up against you. So something happened this week that got me thinking about dealing with negativity how do you deal with negativity how do you deal with negative situations let me know if you watch this video it'd be great to know but well, i'll be sharing some tips with you on how to deal with negativity because um, it's not important those things are temporal they're not permanent and it doesn't define you doesn't define who you are when things come against your people you know say things or do things because sometimes it's out of ignorance they have no clue you know about what they're saying and all of that so one thing we have to do is to give them the benefit of doubt that they had no idea like I said what they were talking about or they assumed, made assumptions, uh, wrong assumptions. So one thing I like to do is to clarify issues, like talk about it, tell people, no, that wasn't what actually happened. And then say your own point of view, if possible, you know, often, t sometimes it, it uh, makes things better and other times it makes things worse because the other party is not ready to talk and that's not a good thing or the other party especially if they're online and you type things and they don't really understand where you're coming from and they've made the um, assumptions or jumped at their own conclusions <laughs> so there's nothing you can do in that case you just leave them you know you leave them to their assumptions and it got me thinking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As Christians, we talk about the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians um, 5.22. Do check that. Make sure. Yeah, it is. You know, love, patience, um, forbearance, kindness, long-suffering, peace, and all of that. Those are very important things as Christians we don't only say but we, we need to actually do them we need to put them into practice in our lives on a daily basis otherwise what are we proclaiming to be Christians for you know you don't throw accusations instead ask questions and then once you've asked your question you give the other person the opportunity to clarify issues before throwing accusations or making assumptions or arriving at your own conclusion. So it is wrong to, to do that. You know. So the first thing, have a chat if possible. All right. And if not possible, email or email normally is not good a phone call talk about it if possible clear the air ask the other person to forgive you 
you know, if you have made assumptions, wrong assumptions, forgiveness is not difficult. Ask for forgiveness and hopefully they will forgive you. The next thing is don't judge because you never know what might be going on with the other person. Don't judge them. You know, let them let it go. Don't judge. We need to be free of every form of negativity because you want you want to receive. You don't want anything to block you from receiving all the goodness you you know that has been given to you for the day. There's a lot of goodness out there. And God, some of you call the universe wants to release that goodness and if there's negativity it kind kind of hinders it and we don't want that so release every form of negativity by not judging don't make assumptions um, forgive and um, communicate with whoever the other person is whoever the other yeah the other party is yeah, I'm taking you guys with me on my walk today. It's very quiet, <laughs> very quiet. I love going on my prayer walks. And I'm taking you along with me because I think this topic is something that needs to be dealt with. How do you deal with negativity? There's a lot going on in the world right now. The last thing you need is someone trying to dump their stuff on you. You don't need that. So repel it. Don't accept it. You don't know what they are going through to make them arrive at that conclusion. And they also don't know what you are going, going through. Because what they say, be it online or face to face, may trigger something and we have to be careful. Some people feel they can bully others. Um, especially when they are sitting behind the computer you know they say things they can't say to you face to face assumptions and things so it's not right that has to stop if people are doing that there's so much going on in the world right now and lots of people are trying to manage this situation so many people have lost jobs lost family members and all sorts so we need to be careful we need to be very careful we need to be mindful be mindful of others mindfulness is not only when you are practicing your breathing exercises and all of that mindfulness you know involves a lot be mindful of other people be mindful what you say be it face to face or online you know people tend to say a lot of things online because they feel they can't see you or you know or you can't see them so they write that they have the freedom to write or type negative stuff ne negative stuff that has to stop it's not right it's not right it has to stop you know anyway this is my favorite spot, as some of you may have gathered by now. <laughs> I love taking walks down the seaside. It's just always lovely. It has this calming effect. And yeah, <clears throat> it has a lovely calming effect on me anyway. That's why I love it. <laughs> yeah, guys, so trust you are all keeping well wherever you are, whatever part of the world you watch this from. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It'd be nice to have you in my YouTube family, as part of my family on YouTube. Interact. I love to hear from you. I love to see engagement. I love to see your likes. Yes, press the like button. YouTube, YouTube works like that, you know, they love to see people press the like button they love to see people comment on your videos and they love to see that you have watched the video so please watch my videos comment and press the like button 
the next thing I would love you to do is there's a bell by the video it's always on the right side of the video press the notification bell that way when I post a video you will see my next video and you get to know about the topics I'm talking about whatever I'm talking about you will be the first to be notified hey glorious glow has posted a new video and you will be notified there we go you can see why I had to dress up warmly it's nice and windy and I hope what I'm saying is not distorted till I come your way again do take care thanks for watching thanks for listening I appreciate you all take care and God bless you bye let me give you before I go actually let me give you the view it's lovely isn't it I love coming to this place I love taking a walk around my neighborhood. It's so quiet in the mornings, that's why I love it. I'll finish my prayer walk till I come your way again. Take care, take care. God bless you. Bye. The Whole Woman Conference is next Saturday. Yay! If you haven't booked your ticket, you haven't bought your ticket, go and buy your ticket reserve your space it'll be great to see you there i look forward to seeing you all there women click on it there's so much in store for us and i'm sure you'd love what we have prepared for you on the 11th of july so if you haven't bought your ticket click on the link i'll be leaving in the description box buy your ticket and i will be seeing you there take care thank you this is to encourage everyone going through a tough time out there at the moment to encourage you and remind you that God never stops working. Isaiah 43 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Amen. He is with you every second of the day, every week, month, and years to come. I'm going to end this with Psalm 91, which says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foul snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves you, says the Lord. 
I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation, says the Lord God Almighty. I hope that has blessed you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shield you. May the Lord protect you and guide you all the days of your life as you trust in him. God bless.